The Louvre Abu Dhabi sits on the edge of the water, and then that's the Guggenheim Abu Dhabi, and then the Zayed National Museum is right in the heart of the culture district of Saadiyat Island. Uh, the building, a uh, little bit of the architecture of the museum. So the Zayed National Museum is designed by Lord uh, Norman Foster from the United Kingdom. And it's inspired by the wings of the falcon, of course, as it's one of the favorite sports of the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan, the founding father of the nation. The Zayed National Museum has been founded in the spirit of Sheikh Zayed's work and the renewed warmth that he extended to people from all walks of life. It is a place where we commit to safeguard his legacy for the future generations. It is the one place that captures all of our history in all its multiple dimensions, whether it was history, intangible cultural heritage, anthropology, and the philosophy of being Emirati. It will be a public and civic hub for the study and advancement of natural history. The Zayed National Museum will also illustrate the historic role of the UAE as a crossroad of cultures linked through trade, cultural exchange, and diplomacy in the wider region. It will also exhibit our ancient and archaeological treasures, making a proud statement to those who don't know that our history started since the Neolithic ages and that we are one of the most enduring and preserving civilizations of the world. The Zayed National Museum continues the legacy of Sheikh Zayed, who had commissioned the first museum here in Al Ain for the primary purpose of safeguarding archaeology and ethnography in 1969. He chose to build the Ain Museum next to his father's fort, Sultan Fort, and it still stands today as a testimony to his wisdom and as proof of his foresight, which we hope to be realizing today with Zayed National Museum. The visitor journey will start from a timeline garden, which starts from the edge of the water at the Saadiyat Island, and then moving across a 400 meters garden that highlights important uh, events from the life of uh, the founding father, Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan, starting with the uh, uh, water environment, or the sea and coastal environment, and then going to the desert environment, up to the oasis, and then Abu Dhabi today, which of course introduced the building of the Zayed National Museum. Then the visitor will be able to enter to the atrium, which is the main hall of the museum. And we envisage here a, um, a large uh, installments or large exhibits that will basically give the main messages of the museum. And also there will be a lot of interactive exhibits uh, and uh, objects also in the main atrium of the museum. To talk more about the content of the Zayed National Museum and the collection, as you see, we have a diverse collection. And people keep on asking, so what's, what's the Zayed National Museum? Is it an ethnographic museum? Is it a natural history museum? Is it a science museum? Is it an art museum? Is it a universal museum? I say yes to all of this. We are creating a new type of museums to really convey the message of Abu Dhabi government and to tell the story of a unique, unique history through the values and through the vision of His Highness Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan, may his soul rest in peace. As you can see, just, just some examples of what we have already in our collection. We have ethnography collection, we have documents, we have historical monuments, we have archaeology, we have media collections, um, we have Islamic art collections, we have contemporary art, and, and we are still going on and collecting and still developing the collection day by day with the help of an amazing team under the, departments, uh, the Department of Museums at the Department of Culture and Tourism. Um, I believe there was a full session on the prehistoric landscapes of the UAE led by Mark Veach yesterday. And, and really, I mean, I'm fascinated by this. And this is one of the highlights that you will see when you visit the Zayed National Museum, of course. And, and, and things like that, that we are really proud of. And, and personally, I did not know that, that, this, that this site... Sorry. 
that this site exists and you can actually see the footprints of those magnificent creatures in uh, the Lafari region of Abu Dhabi only after the research that happened like eight years ago when we were discussing the different galleries of the museum and talking to curators and archaeologists and of course support of Dr. Mark Beach here. And whenever we present this to like students in universities or schools, they go mad. They go, f I mean, they, they, cannot, they really cannot believe that this still exists in Abu Dhabi. And there were those creatures here living and, and, uh, um, and living their lives in, in the landscape of the United Arab Emirates. And these are one of the stories that we, we want to bring back to life in the museum. We want them to be interactive. We want children and also adults to interact with, whether they were Emiratis or visitors or residents or tourists. We want everyone to know that this was alive and, 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 uh, and the region here was alive and people lived and beautiful creatures like that lived here as well. So really, the, 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 the remains of, of those creatures are, are, um, are preserved in our storages, but it will be one of the star objects that you will see in the Zayed National Museum when it opens, inshallah. Um, other examples of collections and, uh, and stories and how we would like to tell the stories and content in the Zayed National Museum. Uh, of course, the oldest pearl uh, we have here, and then th this is the story of the pearl and the importance of pearl and trade, pearl trading, and also the importance of uh, pearl diving and, and how our ancestors and our grandparents uh, were, were doing a, a very difficult um, uh, task by diving and getting uh, pearls and sending them off to, for example, jewelry makers. And one of the images of the first slide was a Cartier watch. And we also have archival images of Cartier himself, the designer, in a boat in the region with pearl divers. So really, the hardship of this, of this uh, job and, uh, and our ancestors to collect those pearls and then ending with such beautiful uh, product like this necklace. And this necklace is here. What is very unique about this, it's a donation by one of the Al Nahyan family members who donated to the collection of the museum. But this necklace was actually gifted from Sheikh Zayed to the well-renowned uh, Egyptian singer, Um Kalthoum, for you who knows her here. So it was a gift from Sheikh Zayed to Um Kalthoum when she visited the United Arab Emirates in 1972 and had a concert here. So all of, and of course, we have a Mughal painting here, which also uh, have a depiction of pearls all over the canopy here. And of course, also the uh, king here has a full a necklace full of pearls, which, which was also uh, taken from, from the region. So these stories that we want to mix and tell the people and really have interesting stories rather than static and classical stories to say. Something that we also found out while doing research for the Zayed National Museum, uh, Peter Hellier will be familiar with this uh, note here. So uh, we found this after doing research and, and uh, really sort out some objects in the storages of the Department of Culture and Tourism. And this note actually says arrowheads, and then the code for the, those arrowheads, taken to show Sheikh Zayed, March 14th, 2003. This was a year before Sheikh Zayed passed away. And this note itself is an object now, and it's something to preserve and to protect. Because this shows the importance and, and Sheikh, Zayed's, Sheikh Zayed's belief that he is there to preserve and to protect the history. So this note that was put in, in a box with the arrowhead is a star object at the museum right now. And of course, the first archaeologist and the first note that was sent to the Danish archaeologists here by Sheikh Zayed to invite them in 1959 to dig in Abu Dhabi as he believed that we had a rich and culture, we had a rich history, we had a deep history. And yes, they came and they visited and they started excavation. These are some images from the Mosgard collections. This is in 1962-1963. And of course, we have Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa with some of the archaeologists. And then some just fun images to share with you on, 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 on the experience of those archaeologists and what they encountered here in Al Ain and in Abu Dhabi. And of course, a Munar excavation, one of the most important excavations that happened in that time. And then them resting and having coffee with their colleagues here in Abu Dhabi. And this. 55 years later, the archaeologist visited us again, 
and they were fascinated with what they saw 55 years here in Abu Dhabi, and they were here two months ago, and we had the chance to, to meet them and to discuss with them, and some of my colleagues also from the Department of Culture and Tourism welcoming the archaeologists. And this was taken in our office at the Department of Culture and Tourism. And we had an amazing conversation, and they shared with us amazing stories, remembering what Sheikh Zayed told them when they went to him, what did he tell them, uh, him visiting them like every two or three hours on site, just checking if they found something or not. And they shared with us amazing stories, which are very, very memorable, and they still remember those stories and exactly what he told them. So all of those stories, of course, will be archived, collected, and exhibited at the Zayed National Museum. Sheikh Zayed National Museum is just a continuation of what have been built already here in the United Arab Emirates. 60 years ago, we did not know that we had all of those archaeological monuments or archaeological sites or amazing material uh, in the United Arab Emirates. And now in every Emirates, you'll find a museum or even more than a museum. And of course, an important thing that the UNESCO World Heritage, UNESCO World Heritage was awarded to the cultural sites in Al Ain in 2011. So we are only continuing Sheikh Zayed's vision and continuing the legacy. And us sitting in this room, we are the custodians of this culture. We are the custodians of this history. And we need to preserve and we need to, to secure those historical uh, materials for the future generations. And one of our main objectives inside the National Museum to raise this awareness and to educate and to share with the future generations. Thank you very much. And I present now uh, Peter Hellyer with the paper. Tell them thank you and carry on. Sheikh Zayed and the Abu Dhabi Islands Archaeological Survey.